In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four 3D arrow design infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. You can see here, I've just put one uh, square shape here. And when I click the first arrow comes, you can see it, it gives kind of a 3D look here. And then you can add the icon and the detailed text. And on my next click, the second arrow comes from the top with different colors. Then the third arrow and the fourth arrow. And then you can add your own headline here. And if you have not subscribed to my PowerPoint University channel, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel PowerPoint University. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle draw the rectangle by holding the shift key you can draw the maximum size maybe you can this much size you can see here and then go to align center align middle shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can make it some gray color later on we can give some gradient fill now go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle here you can see here maybe this much size or depending on your requirement shape outline make it no outline and shape fill maybe i'm going to give this uh, color the light blue then i'm going to insert one arrow go to shapes again you can see under block arrows i'm going to use this arrow right draw the arrow again how much size you need maybe this much size and make sure that i'm just going to place not exactly in the center i'm going to place maybe like this you can see here some gap here which is somewhat outside of this area then again shape outline make it no outline and shape fill going to give the same color and if you change that the direction or the size of the arrowhead also that also you can do with this let me just move this a little bit here all right and i'm going to give this somewhat lighter color so that you can understand what exactly is happening now i'm going to insert one more rectangle you can see here this rectangle which will i'm going to draw from this end to this end you can see here which should let me just zoom in so this has to hold the alt key so that you get a perfect this straight line here it should be matching with this and here this one should be matching with this again shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it maybe you can give some different color now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut from this you can see here from this corner to this i'm going to cut and from this corner to this i'm going to cut that one so that it gives come some kind of a, a different look for that go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select the right triangle draw the right triangle you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill maybe i can give yellow so that you can clearly understand what exactly i'm trying to do and again make sure that this is properly in alignment with this okay and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate bring it up all right and then i'm going to format rotate i can rotate which is let me just do it flip vertical and then again i can flip horizontal you can see here and put it exactly on the top and make sure that it is properly aligned and then drag it down to touch this corner all right again hold the alt key if you want and then you can see exactly let me just zoom in further so it looks something like this all right now what i'm going to do i'm going to select this gray rectangle hold the shift key and select the bigger this right triangle under format go to merge shapes you can see here and i'm going to subtract and again hold the shift key select the the yellow one at the bottom again more shape and again subtract so you end up getting a shape something like this and this again i'm going to give this color but if you give this color it is not you know uh, looking good it is not giving that effect for that what i can do i can go to format shape 
and I can give some gradient fill. So what I'm going to do, let me just go to fill, select the gradient fill. By default, there are four stops. Let me just delete two stops and direction. You can just select any direction, either linear left or linear right. And here linear right. Sorry, so for this one, I'm going to give the same color, which is light. And here I'm going to give again the same color, but I can go to more color and increase the shade. You can see here something like this all right and for this also i'm going to give the same gradient fill so it looks something like this so your arrow looks like this now kind of a 3d look now if you want to give some uh shadow effect also that is also required because that looks very good so go to insert shapes and select the i'm going to select this trapezoid draw this trapezoid shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it black increase the transparency level to maybe 70 percent then go to uh, effects and under soft adjust increase the size you can see here how much size you need and then i can just go to rotate and i'm rotating right 90 degrees bring it here something like this you can see here if you want you can reduce the size a little bit bring it here and then send back you can see here it looks like this it gives you a 3d effect here so once this is done i can select all press ctrl g to group it and then ctrl d to duplicate and then start adding one by one you can see here i can just make it rotate right 90 degrees and i'm just going to put it here one press ctrl d to duplicate and then this one i'm going to rotate maybe this one i feel better yes so then this one will go here and later on if you want we can just change the shapes if it is not coming properly also you can see here and again press ctrl d and this time i'm going to make it this one maybe this one yes and again just put it here make sure that you have to give equal spacing here so you can see here the design is ready now it's time to give some different colors so you can just select maybe this one i can just select this one and i can start giving maybe a orange color here and this one again this side i'm going to give orange color and this side again i'm going to give uh, orange color or you can go to more colors and you can just give some more darker color from there you can see here but still the same color looks like so i can just go to the custom and increase the shade so it gives this kind of a look and again the same uh select this one and just click this so you got this uh, arrow color also change again for this one i'm going to give maybe a color combination of maybe a purple maybe this color or whichever color you feel better again for this also i'm going to give the same purple and here i'm going to give a darker purple so i can just go here i can give maybe this darker purple and again selecting this and click on this and the last one again whichever color you feel better you can give any color of your choice you can see here maybe i can give this color then again here also i'm going to give the same color and this side i'm going to give a darker color and here again i'm going to use the format painter so you can see here uh, we have created this one and if you want you can a little bit extend also and give some different effect here so now what we can do is go to insert click on icons and again depending on your requirement you can just add any icons bring it here make the height and width as 0.5 only you can see here and then start one by one adding it on top of each arrow you can see here something like this and if you want to change the color also you can do it or if you want to retain black only that also can be possible so here i can just go and make it white 
so once this is done go to insert text box and you can add your title here again any good font of your choice you can select reduce the size maybe you can make it bold i'm just adding it here center and go to insert again you can add your detail text here again century gothic reduce the file size or the font size and maybe again center align if you want select both of these make sure that it is aligned center press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and then add to each option here something like this and if you want to add some more shapes some arrows or some circles or whatever you can just do it here for example i want to do some arrows here which is going like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some gray color press ctrl d just rotate it again ctrl d you can see here and the last one also you can just sorry add something like this and here in the center let me just remove the guides so the shape looks something like this go to insert text box you can add your title or your headline you can see here like this and maybe you can give some gray color again and if you want you can just change this color also to gradient fill and if you want to change the background or if you want to retain the white also that is also not a problem but let me just change this one to picture or texture fill you can see here i can just go and select any uh, this color here and then i can just go to the effects and if i want i can just change some different colors also here you can see here or i can go here i can picture color and i can just select from the recolor i can select any color which i want for example i want like this so that also done and then i can just go and give some shadow effect for this and increase the distance you can see here and increase the blur size so your design is ready